the 3080 Ti is coming really soon. Let's talk about it. Before that, this video is brought to you by CDKDeals.com. CDK Deals is a website dedicated to getting you the best prices on games and software, and right now you can get a Windows 10 Pro OEM key for an insanely low price. Just find the best price and apply my special discount code GPC30 for an additional 30% off. You can also check out securely with PayPal, and once the payment is cleared, you should get access to the code both in your account as well as in your email. In order to activate the new copy of Windows 10, just search Activate under Windows and type in your key. So if you want to learn more, be sure to click the link in the description below. So just recently, more leaks regarding the upcoming RTX 3080 Ti were posted online. And first, I want to go ahead and take a look at those specs once again, which were recently reconfirmed by the YouTuber Red Gaming Tech, which, by the way, there will be links to all of my sources in the description below. But, you know, first taking a look at the shader count, it looks like it should have up to 10,240 CUDA cores, which is, I believe, just about 2% less than the RTX 3090, so not very much there. Uh, it should have 12 gigabytes of G6X memory running at 19 gigabits per Per second which yeah that does sound about right to me and I theorized that quite a while ago and I think that's the only missing piece of information in terms of the specs that we hadn't gone over yet on this channel but in any case since it does have 12 gigabytes of VRAM it should be on a 384 bit bus which is really good because that means it gets the full bandwidth so that gives you a total bandwidth of 912 gigabytes per second which once again is just about I believe around 2% less than the RTX 3090 so yeah the 3080 Ti in terms of specs is looking really good and in terms of the performance performance that you should expect out of this card, I would be expecting somewhere around 10% more performance than the RTX 3080, and of course that is actually really good uh, amount of performance overall, but in terms of a performance jump from the 3080 to the 3080 Ti, yeah, that's not really a huge jump, and it's probably going to be fairly expensive, so it's really going to be up to you whether or not it's actually going to be worth it, though that being said, uh, if you're just able to buy anything at this point, I suppose, you know, price doesn't really matter that much anymore, but, you know, speaking of price, let's go ahead and talk about that because this is one new piece of information that was actually just leaked by the YouTuber Red Gaming Tech and supposedly it's going to be 999 US dollars which doesn't surprise me whatsoever I've been theorizing that that's likely the price point it'll drop in at uh, probably since the launch of the RTX 3080 and 3090 because I mean you take a look at the stack the 3080 comes in at 700 US dollars for the MSRP of course you can't really find it for that right now and then uh, the 3090 is supposed to be $1,500 and of course you still can't find even that for $1,500 which is kind of ridiculous it looks like 3090s are more around like $2,000 right now. But yeah, so the MSRP of $1,000 US dollars makes a whole bunch of sense to me. And, you know, I, in terms of what you're going to actually be able to purchase it at, it's likely going to be AIB models roughly more around eleven dollars or $1,200 US dollars uh, with the really expensive ones probably creeping up on that 3090, uh, $1,500 US dollar price point. So yeah, it's definitely going to be expensive, but in terms of the performance, it should be basically RTX 3090 levels. There should be really no noticeable difference between them whatsoever. The only really different uh, thing between these two cards is going to be that the 3090 has 12 gigabytes more of VRAM so of course uh, for those people who need it for say 3D rendering or something like that the 3090 is still going to be a go-to but you know in terms of VRAM some people may be disappointing considering that there was a previous leak uh, showing a 3080 Ti with 20 gigabytes of VRAM but you know in my opinion this is actually a little bit better that has 12 gigabytes of VRAM uh, because you know 12 gigabytes should definitely be enough for the near future here the consoles really only have access to about uh, 12 gigabytes gigabytes of VRAM, I believe, in terms of what they can use for their games. It has a total of 16. Uh, so you having 12 gigabytes of VRAM just on the video card, as well as 16 or 32 gigabytes in your system, yeah, that's definitely going to be more than enough, at least for the near future. But yeah, two, three, four years into the future, uh, maybe that 12 gigabytes will start to be uh, cutting it at that point. So then, yeah, the 3090 will, of course, you know, be a little bit better as time goes on. But, you know, for right now, it's definitely going to be more than enough. And the reason why I think this is actually a little bit better is because with that 3090, 384 bit bus you get a whole lot more memory bandwidth with the 20 gigabyte model that was previously leaked that would only give you about 760 gigabytes per second whereas this one gives you 912 gigabytes per second so you're actually just going to be getting more performance out of the card so yeah the 12 gigabyte model it makes more sense to me i was always a little bit wary of the 20 gigabytes i wasn't 100 sure if that would be true uh 12 gigabytes yeah it looks like that's definitely going to be the case these specs do look 100 accurate to me and i'm really confident that it'll be coming out with these specs very very soon but talking about release dates let's go ahead and 
get into that as well. So previously in a video, I talked about the fact that uh, videocards.com had leaked that it potentially was going to be launching in April. It looks like uh, Paul from over at Red Gaming Tech also confirmed that it looks like, yes, it, around April it should be launching. According to him, it's going to be mid-April. If you want to get more information on that, of course, there will be a link to him in my description below. But yeah, so mid-April, it looks like we're going to be getting our hands on this RTX 3080 Ti. It looks really powerful. And there's one more piece of new information I want to go over here before we wrap this video up, and that's that apparently the RTX 3080 Ti, and this really doesn't surprise me, is going to have the same mining locks as the RTX 3060. Now, I'm not entirely sure if they mean the exact same. It's going to be basically only Ethereum locked, as I believe that is the case with the RTX 3060, uh, with both the vBIOS as well as the drivers being uh, having it be locked out for that type of uh, algorithm that Ethereum's using. Now, I've been hearing people talk about that maybe you can use the RTX 3060 to mine other coins like Raven coin, so maybe uh, this lock doesn't really do a whole lot, so that's a bit of a shame if that is the case. I haven't really looked into it too much, uh, but yeah, I've definitely been hearing that, so hopefully the RTX 3080 Ti, if it does have the same locks as the RTX 3060, I hope they actually go ahead and expand those locks and they go ahead and lock out other things such as Raven coin, basically any coin that can be mined with the GPU Nvidia if they are actually serious about trying to get these cards, you know, only to gamers uh, and, and they don't want to sell to miners, then, you know, the first thing they got to do is basically lock out every single coin before I'm fully on board with them. You know, when they first announced that they were going to be locking these uh, mining off with their RTX 3060, I was really excited. But then as more and more information came out, now I'm a little bit uh, skeptical as, uh, you know, just how effective this is actually going to be. In theory, it's a really good idea. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see how effective it is, how difficult it is to get around these locks and whether or not it actually locks everything out. Now, on top of that, I think there's a couple other things that they really need to do if they are serious about stopping miners from getting these. And I think it's important to do that because, you know, uh, if you take a look at GPU mining, uh, there's a lot of people buying a lot of video cards and this not only puts a lot of strain uh, on the supply itself, but on top of that, you take a look at the other effects from this and you have a lot of people who are scalping to miners now because miners essentially have an unlimited budget for video cards as long as they continue to make money. So if miners stop buying these video cards, then scalpers probably won't be scalping quite as much because it'll be less profitable for them. So it's kind of a uh, two-pronged issue, at least in my eyes. But in any case, yeah, uh, the other thing that they need to do if they are serious about stopping miners and potentially even scalpers from getting these cards is not only do they need to work with retailers to stop people from buying dozens or even hundreds or thousands of these cards in mass, but on top of that, they need to also actually produce more of these cards as well. I know they're trying really hard, but realistically, that's a big problem is just they don't have enough. And then another issue is if they really are serious, they need to stop selling stuff to miners. So you need to either get rid of your mining lineup. I know it has some Turing cards in there, so that should actually make it not quite as bad. They're not taking as many cards away from the Ampere lineup as they are uh, potentially selling these HX CMP mining cards that are Turing as well. But they either need to discontinue them or they need to put some sort of display outs on these cards and allow it to be gamed on afterwards as well. Because, you know, if you can't, as a miner, go ahead and buy the uh, mining cards and then resell them to gamers later, then there's no real incentive for them to do that. Uh, and then on top of that, even if they do buy the mining cards, then of course they don't end up on the secondhand market, which means that gamers don't end up buying those, which means it's less competition for NVIDIA and they just end up as e-waste. So yeah, uh, I it sounds like a good idea. I, I, we'll see how effective it is. Hopefully they do end up actually locking everything off. I think that could actually be a really good thing if they do end up doing that. But yeah, there's a whole lot of other issues they need to tackle if they are very serious about stopping mining and they want to actually get it to gamers because otherwise it kind of just looks like a PR stunt to me. But hey, that's just what I think. Do you think you're going to actually be able to purchase an RTX 3080 Ti for somewhere around a thousand US dollars? Or do you think just like all the other cards, it's going to be unavailable or two, three, four times as expensive? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And of course, I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and Nvidia get more stock. Also, if you want to see more, click here. You won't be disappointed.